my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of FM19's The Hall of Famer. Above right now, my friends, you will find the link to last episode. Make sure you're watching that first because then you get caught up with where we're at with the series so far. Um, today, a two-game episode and we're going to play in the league and in the cup again, Coupe de France action. And uh, we're playing a team we played last year in that. Uh, we've got a little bit of stuff to get caught up with first, so let's do that and then we can crack on with those games. Okay, my friends, so if you didn't see last episode and you decided not to bother going back and watching it and get caught up, you will see that last time we got a good 2-0 win in the Coupe de France 10th round against Dijon and a 3-1 victory against Nice in the league. And things are still going well, even though we have let some points slip. And especially against the teams you wouldn't expect, because the two teams we beat were the two harder teams. We're a little bit like West Ham. We show up for the big boys but kind of take the smaller teams for granted. But um, anyway, Nimes were up first, obviously our big rivals in the league, and you will see they were 2-0 up in this game, uh, but Rafa Mahika double in the first half ended up helping us get to 2-2. It was a hell of a game, and actually would have made for quite the episode, but um, here's what it is, a 2-2 draw, Nimes take a point. Uh, we then moved on to uh, Saint-Étienne, away from home, and they got a draw from us as well. You'll see that Grand C got the goal for them and Sofi ended up with the goal for us. We just were a little bit off colour in the game. Um, Rafa Mejica not firing on all cylinders, but we did move on to a home game against Bordeaux and you will see a very impressive 3-0 victory in this one. Broby, Moraes and Holsetter with the goals and uh, a very, very impressive effort from the boys. And then, ladies and gents, what has to probably go down as one of the games of the season. Um, I wish I had live com, well not live com, but you know, put this one in an episode. I really do wish this one was in an episode, but these things happen sometimes. Uh, as you can see from the game, it was eventful. Um, they had a man sent off in the 28th minute, then went 2-0 up through Lacadia and Van der Velde, and then we had the craziest 15 minutes to finish the game. Uh, we ended up Drawing it 2-2, um, they then went 3-2 ahead, then Diop on the 90th minute um, makes it 3-3, free, free, and then we just went all out attack, and Morales with a 95th minute winner in the game secured us all three points against Guigomp, who must have been absolutely gutted at the end of it. Um, but we are going to move on. Today, ladies and gents, we will take a look at the league table uh, ever so shortly, but we're going to play Marseille, who are third in the league and Amiens in the Coupe de France 11th round. Uh, Marseille away from home isn't going to be easy. And well, this is how the league table uh, looks though, ladies and gents. You will see we've dropped down to fifth position, uh, 28 games played. Uh, those two draws have really hurt us. AS uh, Monaco started to really sort of pull ahead a little, kind of close the gap. You'll see that um, Marseille are third with a game in hand. We really need to get a result against them if we're going to finish top four this season. Um, I will take a top six place. I really would at this moment in time. You'll see there's an 11 point gap between us and sixth. So I think we're pretty much guaranteed to finish in the top six this season. Where in that top six we finish though, I don't know. It's probably going to be between third and sixth. Um, but it's what a season it's been. Our first season in League R and it looks like we're going to qualify for Europe. And I guess while talking of qualifying for Europe, we really should press on with the first game in today's episode. And the 4-4-1-1 has been working a treat recently. And what we've been doing in the game is if the 4-4-1-1 isn't working that great, we go to a 4-3-2-1 or a 4-3-1-2. Yes, it's very, very attacking. It's not exactly great as far as the midfield is concerned, but it's working. And that's all that matters. Um, big game against Marseille. They are a rival and uh, flying high in the league. So we're going to go with Bacar in goal, Mabiala and Zagra at fullback, Rydal and Harrell at centre-back, De Silva and Stocker we're going to play on the wings, Marchetti is going to play next to Matazo in centre-mid, Diop is going to play attacking mid, and Mahika, uh, 14 goals now this season, very, very good from the man, uh, he's going to play up top and hopefully continue that goal-scoring form. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Marseille get the game underway, and uh, hopefully we can make a bit of a game of it. It's going to be difficult, they've been playing playing extremely well and as I continue to talk we've got a throw in here and Mabiala that was all right into De Silva Matazo's got that back we've gone wide to Stockhol now out to Zagra ball in the oh 
up inside five minutes. Sophie and Diop puts us one nil up. Right, throw in now to Marseille. Matazo, that clearance isn't very good. And it's just wide. So we're almost at the half hour point and uh, they are on top. As far as chances and all that stuff's concerned, they're well on top. But we're holding our own and still have this 1-0 lead. The throw in now to us. Zagra up the line and it's given away to Marseille. And I hate it when throw-ins get given away. But we have got possession back. Now Diop into Matazo. Diop receives back into Marchetti. Back to Harrell. It's good passing, but we need to go somewhere, lads. Uh, Marchetti into the op. That ball is useless. I don't really understand what he's even tried to do there. And it's going to come back at us now. Marine, what a ball into Ivanov. And he's hit the post. So it's half time. It's 1-0. They're on top though. And uh, really should be level with the chances that they've created in the game. Um, we're going to need to be very good in this second half to win the game. And do need to improve. Right, corner. The op on it. Oh, it was a lovely corner. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm pretty sure they're playing counter-attack now. They just seem to be leaving men up and uh, really, really starting to hurt us. I'm really starting to wonder whether or not deploying maybe a defensive midfielder would be a good option. Um, I don't want to go to too defensive too soon, especially with them creating chances. It was coming and it's 1-1. And off the back of them going to 1-1, one, one, I am going to pull Mahika off. And I think Broby's going to come on. Mahika hasn't really given us much in the game. Broby's going to go um, complete forward on attack. Um, hopefully, he can get a bit more involved with the uh, advanced playmaker. Um, Marchetti, do I pull you off as well? I think I might. Marchetti, yeah, Marchetti's going to come off. Jasic is going to come on. Um, we're going to change these two around. Matazo is just better in this position. We're going to play Jasic as the as the centre midfielder. I think. Yeah, we'll we'll do that for now. Can play deep line, but I think this might suit us. With five minutes to go, it looks like we might be snatching ourselves a point here. I'm a bit gutted. But they've been very, very good. I say that. There's three minutes to go and we have the ball. And that's a lovely cross. Oh, my God. He's ending up in the back of the net. It's Christoph Harrell with the goal. And have we just grabbed ourselves another late, late winner? And there's a throw in to Marseille. And it would be heartbreak. There's ten, under 10 seconds to go. But Grulich is in. Oh, and it's wide. Unbelievable scenes in the game as Picard is going to take this goal kick and hopefully he just slaughters it up the pitch. Instead, though, he's going to come to Zagra, who's holding on to the ball. Diop, Stockholm. Final whistle, and we have beat Marseille. And that's another vital three points. Okay, so let's do this, ladies and gents. Uh, a good win, or should I say a fantastic win against Marseille. Uh, very, very good stuff again from Montpellier. Um, but now we move on to cup action. Coupe de France action, to be precise. We made it all the way to the semi-final of this competition last time around. And in the quarters, we faced Amiens. So... Um, Hopefully, we can beat them again, and this time, book a place in the quarterfinals. So, this is the team we're going to go with. Picard in goal, Iwasaki Lopez fullback, uh, Tylan and Rydal at centre-back, De Silva, Moraes on the wings. We're going to go with Jashish and Matazo midfield, Holsetter in the attacking midfield role, and I am going to bring Broby in to the starting lineup. give him a run out. He's actually got eight goals this season, far improved, especially when we go to two up top. So, hopefully, let's see if he can grab us some goals in this one. So here we go, ladies and gents. Broby gets the game kicked off for us in this one. And uh, yeah, this is a big, big game because we could get into the quarters and then just domestic cup football this season would have been unbelievable. We're nearly at the 20-minute mark and there is a throw-in. But Matazo, good header. Um, but it is going to find its way back to them. Martins is driving forward. Picard with a good save. But Martins is going to get a second bite. But good clearance from the defence. Free kick now. Picard saves it, but Mahrez is there. He's offside. Picard, that was definitely one for the cameras. Right, it's half time, and I've got to be honest, I'm not entirely pleased with that first half. And I think I'm going to bring Matazo off um, and bring Mahika on. Uh, we're going to go two up top. I just, that first half felt shit. It was so limp. Um, we're going to complete forward here. 
we will put Zasic in there. And that's what we're going to go with for the start of the second half. We've still got other substitutions we can make, but we didn't create anything. Right, free kick to Amiens. He's coming inside to Martins, just a short one. Mares now going to come forward and fuck off. We've got a corner, but we have been nowhere in this game. Broby's going to get after it. Does pass that to... Oh, I thought that was going to go to no one, but Lopez picks up. Just pass it, Lopez. Just pass it, Lopez. Go back to the goalkeeper. Don't lose the ball. That's it. Rydell now. Does come wide. I'm so worried when they're back to goal and you don't know where it's going to go. But Morales! What a finish! The initial corner was shit. But we finally draw level. Right, throw in now. De Silva. I've gone proper attacking. Because I just feel like it's the only way we're going to create anything. Um, but we've come wide to Morales again. What a ball. Zasic, though, going to recycle. Goes out wide to Lopez this time. Broby! Oh, it's just wide. Right, we're going to make another change. Broby not had a good game. So Diop is going to come on for him. Um, which means we're going to switch here. Diop's going to come down. Uh, we're going to go to a shadow striker with Diop and go with Mahika up top. So it's a bit of a Christmas tree now. Um, everyone else is having a pretty good game. I've got to keep me eye on the silver though. Got league games coming up and energy's pretty low. And ladies and gents, this is going to extra time. And uh, I don't know whether to make any... I'm not going to make changes yet, but we're going to get this kicked off. And uh, this has been a hell of a game they are putting up some fight right i was looking at penalty takers but we've got a corner here tyler into roll oh, is it the crossbar right we're deep into this second half of extra time and uh we have a chance here jashic on the ball into hole setter what a ball out to De Silva, Mahi. Oh, Mahi could look like he was just going to have a free header, but Lopez, oh, what a strike! Lopez, what a strike! Right, I am going to make a change. Um, Wow, wow, wow. What a hit from the left back. Um, Hole setter is going to make way. We're going to bring Iglio on. And he's going to drop in to the midfield. Uh, he's going to go to his favoured position. And I think I'm just going to sort this out now. Um, yeah, this is what we're going to go with. We're just going to go back to the 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one, and there's only seven minutes to go. And it has taken extra time to get the job done, ladies and gents. A ball comes in. De Silva, that's into the goalkeeper's hands. But... Jesus fucking Christ, we were shit for big, big parts of this game, but I've had to show some character to get this back to winning ways. Um, we're going to be very tired for our league game now. That is a big problem. But hopefully, 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 quarter final place. What a season we are having in the Cups. Okay, ladies and gents, so we are back here at the fixtures screen, and the next two episodes pretty much speak for themselves. Um, what I'm going to do off cam is play the games against Metz and Dijon in the league, and then we will be back next episode for the big Coupe de Liga. Uh, cup final against Paris Saint-Germain. I think that is the perfect episode next time. And then we will follow that up with another one-game episode as we play a currently unknown opposition in the quarterfinals of the Coupe de France. It's going to be very, very cup-oriented in the next couple of episodes. But um, with us doing so well and potentially on the verge of winning silverware, I think it's the best place for us to concentrate. And as we did play a league game, I guess we should take a quick look at the league table. And you can see that we have got, um, we have played one more game than Marseille uh, and Monaco, but we are up into third place, two points clear of Marseille. Um, and it's been a hell of a season. Third is Champions League. If we finish there, that would be ridiculous. But then when you look at De Silva with 17 assists, it's no surprise we are flying high in the league. 11 points behind Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, that's a little bit too much of a stretch, I think. But, um, wow, what a season.
So there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another fantastic episode of FM 19's The Hall of Famer. Another couple of wins. Booked our place in the quarterfinals. It's all going hunky fucking dory. And I'm absolutely loving life. Uh, well, I still think we're light years away from really competing properly in the league and trying to win it. But if we can compete in the Cups, that's great. That all goes on to the manager achievements. And I'm actually quite enjoying my time here at Montpellier. We don't have the most money, but we are still managing to build quite the team. But that is it my friends we're done and dusted for today like share and subscribe if you're new to the channel that's how you support me and the channel uh also my friends for the regulars please do be hitting the bell button if you want to become part of the notification squad i've noticed with youtube recently they're not notifying people when new videos go up so please press the bell so you don't miss out but that is it my friends until next time you've been legends saluting you all enjoy your day and i'll see you next time